Today on Animal Zone, we've got the pet psychic, Laura Stinchfield, and a fabulous group of people. Maripat Davis, who has AFLAR, uh, is here with some wonderful dogs. And tell me, what does AFLAR stand for? AFLAR stands for All for Love Animal Rescue. And this is an animal rescue you started? Yes, founded in about 2011. Wow. And wh what kind of focus do you have with your rescue? We work on the most urgent dogs, which is usually the pit bull mixes and bigger breeds, um, dogs that are sometimes older, seniors. Mm -hmm. and with medical issues. Those are the ones we concentrate on, but we're not exclusive. If we see a little chihuahua or a little dog, usually a senior, we'll pull them as well. So you're rescuing them from shelters? Where, Mostly from shelters, but they might be on line for euthanization, unfortunately? Yeah, absolutely in danger for euthanasia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the last seven or eight dogs I pulled were all going to be put down. Wow. Oh, that's a real hero. And then, uh, then you find homes for them. We do, we do. How do you um, do that? What's the, what's the most effective way of finding <laughs> well, a, a home um, for a dog? To, yeah, we try to find foster homes because foster homes are like magic. You know, they help us get more information on the dog. They get the dog ready for a home. But oftentimes, as in the case of Mama and Bruce, who we've got here today, um, we didn't have any open fosters. So we board at Carl in Santa Paula, which is a wonderful boarding facility. We have a great setup there. We have volunteers that go there seven days a week. And we walk the dogs, they take them on outings, um, they get a lot of good care, and they get very well socialized. And uh, can I introduce the yes, ladies I have yes. with me today? This is Gail Major, she's a wonderful trainer behaviorist that works with most all our dogs, okay. and has helped me save many, many, many dogs. And this is Kathleen McGregor, my vice president, and Kathleen's also fostering two dogs, not these dogs, two other dogs. <laughs> wow, well you want to Talk yeah, to our, let's our talk friends to here. them. And so, is there anything that either one of you have been thinking that you want to ask them or tell them or? Well, I'd like to know what kind of home they they would like. They would like. like what okay. Kind of home would they like? Okay. Yeah. Okay, you guys listening? Listen. Ooh, I was gonna tell her who I am, and she said, "We know all about you." <laughs> <laughs> she said she's been really thinking about what she wants to say. She says she wants to say that she's just so thankful. She said even though that she's in a kennel situation, she feels so much better where she is. She says what she loves is that everybody is so happy to see her all the time. And she said also everyone is so full of love. Well, that makes sense with the rescue name too, right? <laughs> she said she would really like a home with her own couch. Oh, and she said maybe she would like a food bowl that she can always eat from. What would would you like to to have a home with your friend here, or would you mind if you guys got separated? What do you guys think? She said she feels like he needs her. All right, you want to talk now? Come here. We'll give her a break. So, Bruce, wait. You know what I want to say? What do you want to say, buddy? He says I don't even care that I'm in the sun. I just get to be special. <laughs> oh, buddy. You really want a cool home? He said that with getting a home with her that he wouldn't mind if they were separate and got to see each other because he doesn't sleep snuggled up with her. He says that he likes her a lot, but he really wants his own home bad. Oh, he says one of the things that he loves about everyone at the rescue and everyone that works with him is that they all give him an image of where he can be and like what his life will be like and that just makes him so excited. Maripet, I know that probably what you need more than anything else are volunteers donations and and people to get in touch with you regarding these dogs and others yeah uh, you have a website right we do and what is that all for love animal rescue dot org and you're a 501c3 yes right? we are yes, oh we that's are. terrific well thank you so much for coming on animals and we appreciate all of you being here and uh, laura it's always great to have you here we're gonna take a quick break but we'll be right back with more animal zone